welcome back in take the studio and in this video we're going to learn about how you can basically make the realistic shooting system so let's get started the first thing for making that shooting system we are going to use that left mouse uh, that is the most useful mouse you can say button then we need a timeline to uh, make that uh, shooting so set event because we are going to make an automatic shooting system so in the event let's give it that shoot and let's give it the timeline to 0 0.12 and loop type and return to clear by time individual and set it to reset and leave it like that now we need to set up our everything uh, so let's make a logic or even you can make a function for hit data so at the hit data we are basically going to get our camera rotation and get world location where basically our camera looking get forward vectors so we can basically collect the data get forward uh, like uh, the forward location then from that we are basically need to multiply that and with that multiplication uh, we also need one more multiply and now we need to set it to a, a single uh, float percentage let's set it to 80,000 and now once you have the 80,000 one and we need that a plus something like this and then we need we are going to use the line trace by object I'm not going to use the line trace by channel uh, because some of cases the line trace by channel doesn't work for character well so that's why I recommend to use the line trace by object so we'll be used as static dynamic and pawn and the physics body then we'll be basically going to be connect something like this and location and end make sure we'll be set up the line just as a complex from that we'll be get a hip reaction and let's get a boolean that words basically hitting or not even okay so now we need to make a logics uh, instead of our weapon so at the weapon we are going to need to add a arrow so add a arrow simple and then we'll be set it to muzzle flash and make sure you set up uh, everything properly that it's working compile save and let's go to hit data and now we'll basically going to get world location of that arrow and then now we need to use some VFX at here. So at the VFX, you can use lots of pack. I'm going to use that military weapon uh, VFX. Maybe I have some VFX in here too. Let me check. Uh, do we have any VFX? Uh, unfortunately, no, we doesn't have anything uh, related with uh, VFX. So let's get a VFX from our Epic Store. Uh, because there's a lots of uh, weapon uh, VFX available so you need to just find out that and use so I'm going to use the military weapon silver one uh, because it's have a great uh, system like this one this is free so you can add to your projects so in my case that is I guess TPP project yeah TPP and let's set it to older version doesn't matter it's going to be work so simply just give it some time to add and once we add we have the vfx right now compile save now let's go to the military silver and go to vfx and here you find the muzzle flash let's first add the muzzle flash set it to manual attachment split that to location set it to true and now with that what i'm going to do is uh, we need to simply connect a uh, location and we also need to get a uh, world or you can get a rotation in the vector so you can get a world rotation even so here we have the location and rotation for playing the vfx now we want we need one more thing that where it's basically hitting there should be a uh, impact should be done so for the impact i'm going to use this one that as a true that if it's hit successfully manually attachment speed that and we are going to use that impact point as our location and from the impact point we are going to make a root uh, from X and that is basically our rotation and yeah now we have pretty much everything so compile save so now click on play and let's jump 
it's going to be take some time to you know uh, jumping system okay fine now let's take our weapon and let's aim somewhere and try to fire i'm not sure that even it's working because we forget to we are dumb shit that we forget to add this hit data to our logics and also uh yeah now it should be work and secondary you can make a ui for your player so you'll be understand more better so let's create a widget that widget actor let's give it that ui uh input unfortunately unfortunately my electric electricity has been gone that is the whole shit i'm not sure that the video is still recording or not that was a okay the genre has become again or it's back again yes okay fine uh i'm not going to uh for now i recommend don't need to use ui but basically i'm a st stupid so that's why i'm going to use it uh stupid stuff but i recommend do not use the ui uh okay now let's jump and once we are in here now let's check weapon and yeah it's working so as you can see where basically we are aiming it's basically firing there okay it's quite enough good now you have a question bro why it's behaving like this that uh it's a working good but like basically if you say that we don't see any good line trace so we need to make that line trace that it's going to be work and then as you can see uh the offset is not i didn't set up the offset so now it's not working the offset so yeah forget about that now let's make some uh uh you can say let me create a folder called ext that is extra component uh, so I'm going to move this one and my oh it it is an important one set the extra I'm going to make the bullet trail so bullet bt that is a bullet trail so the bullet trail is a more uh mainly we are going to be used for uh, making the bullet visibilities that okay we are firing something and it's coming up from our weapon. So at the military server at the FX, we have found that weapon trace come kind of like that. At here, we need to simply add a projectile movement to move it. And let's use to 12,000 speed. Uh, I guess that is enough. Make sure the gravity is zero because we don't need anything here. Then in the player uh, with the uh, hit data, let's spawn some. Uh, spawn actor from class that is spawn actor from class even if you want you can skip that part even and you can basically drag and drop that uh, through your world you can set it to split and then because you only need the location and rotation and set it to manual compile save and now if I try to play it should be work okay uh, but make sure it's a spawn as a component so if you want to destroy you need to give that functionality to your actor instead of your actor so it will be work more great so as you can see now it's working more great but as you can see the line trace and that is not matching okay so if you check that this is not matching so in next video are going to be fixed this issue